There are many misconceptions about electric vehicles and the auto industry in general, and today we're going to bury a lot of those myths. Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company, I'm Pete Gruber. One of the main comments we regularly get, usually coming from someone hell-bent on disproving the value of electric vehicles, is the myth that EV CO2 emissions are comparable to internal combustion engine cars. Now that is just patently false, of course, but let's take a closer look at the argument and see exactly where the lines of fact and fiction get blurred. The misconception goes something like this. Electric vehicles are worse for the environment because they actually have a larger carbon footprint due to the battery manufacturing process and the process of power plants making electricity. Let's talk about carbon footprint first. Many people get this confused by only listening to the first part of the life cycle emissions estimates. In the beginning of a vehicle life cycle, the production of an EV can potentially create up to 17 tons of CO2, depending on the make, model, and battery size, while most gas cars only take about six to seven tons of CO2 to manufacture. However, if you don't stop there and continue on with the estimates, you quickly realize that even though it costs more than double the CO2 to produce an EV, the overall life cycle CO2 emissions reaches parity with gas cars after only six months of driving. And to go even further, according to estimates from Volvo, Low Carbon Vehicle Partnership, Reuters, and the EPA, just to name a few, when using clean renewable energy to power an electric vehicle, the overall CO2 for the life of that EV is almost one-third that of an internal combustion engine car. So the truth on this one, EVs are in fact much better for the environment when we take into account the entire life cycle of the vehicle. And not to mention, EVs are still in infancy compared to the ICE vehicle market. Over the next decade or two, as the mining of lithium and battery products gets even more efficient, EVs will only become even less harmful to the environment than they already are. The second myth that we hear regularly is that there are not enough chargers around and that things will only get worse the more the demand for EVs continues to rise. We've all heard the horror stories about long lines of charging stations, right? Again, this myth is completely false. Taking the biggest EV producer as an example, Tesla, who has tens of thousands of superchargers all across the globe and more going in monthly. Combine that with the fact that Tesla is planning to open these chargers to other vehicle platforms and is even testing this already in Europe. The fact that there are programs here in the USA like Electrify America creating thousands upon thousands of new charging stations over the next two years and any anxiety about finding a charger should easily be put to rest. On the Tesla website, they provide easy to use tools which allow for looking up chargers in zip codes, city and state, and even allow detailed trip planning to assure that you make the right or left turns just when you need to in order to avoid any range anxiety. I think with this one, we can easily say myth successfully busted. One of the myths floating around gaining popularity lately is that electric vehicles are not as safe as gas cars. There are a number of ways that this misconception is provably false, but let's start with the most obvious. There is something in the United States called the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, a code of federal regulations that all cars and trucks sold in the U.S. must meet. To pass these regulations, vehicles undergo extensive testing through long established testing procedures to ensure a certain level of safety before being released to the public. In addition to meeting these same standards as gas cars, the batteries and EVs must undergo their own extensive testing as well. And if that wasn't enough, every EV manufacturer includes additional safety features to shut down the electrical systems in the vehicle once a collision is detected. And a final feather in the cap, to put this myth to bed once and for all, both Tesla Model S and Model Y have scored some of the highest scores possible on consumer reports. IIHS and others for vehicle safety, and the 2022 Model Y is the current top safety pick. 
The fourth myth on our list is that EVs don't have enough range and they take too long to charge. While this is still a misconception on how to properly use and charge an EV, there is at least some merit to warrant further consideration. For the vast majority of people, they will typically travel less than 100 miles a day. This range would easily be within the limits of an EV battery on full or even half charge. With a healthy schedule of overnight charging and a slow home and destination charger, the average person will not experience issues with range or charge time. For those of us that like to travel, as we mentioned earlier, there are charging stations everywhere these days with more and more of them popping up all the time. Superchargers for those on a time crunch are designed to give you significant range in as little as 15 to 20 minutes and get you back on the road headed where you need to be. There will always be one-off situations where someone needs to drive a thousand miles a day and hey, for that scenario, a Tesla probably won't work for you, at least yet. Our final myth of the day is probably the most annoying one we get because, well, we're an EV repair shop, but it happens to be also somewhat true. This myth is that Tesla and other EVs are incredibly difficult to service and normal mechanic shops won't be able to help if you run into serious problems with your EV. While part of this is true, and the electronics require advanced and specialized skills in order to troubleshoot and repair, there are a number of things a normal mechanic shop can help you with. Let's not forget that these are still cars. They have suspension, they have brakes, they have four tires and a cabin. And there are a number of things that your average mechanic shop can still participate in the repair. Where it gets a bit dicey is if you're attempting to be an independent repair shop and troubleshoot and repair it down to component level, which most Tesla service centers and other EV repair shops will not do. They simply replace the entire assemblies. Another bonus for you here at the end of this video, if we take purely cost for fuel into account, here's something for you to think about. Nationwide gasoline is currently averaging $4.97 per gallon. Electricity is currently averaging 10.4 cents per kilowatt hour. Average 14 gallon tank of gas costs about $69. An average 85 kWh battery charge costs about $8.86. You can see electricity is still a much better bargain and will probably continue to be so for the foreseeable future. I'm glad we could finally put these myths to rest. I'm Pete Gruber. Thank you for joining us.